In this video, I will show you how to create high detail, realistic clothing in Cinema 4D and Octane. If this video provides value to you, please don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing. To start off, import the model into Cinema 4D. The model I used is available to download in the description, however this tutorial works with any model, including the one in the C4D asset browser. Next, we're going to create the scene. Add a plane and position it behind your model. This will act as a backdrop. Open up the Octane dialog and add an area light. This will help to add realism to the scene as opposed to just using an HDRI on its own. Add an Octane camera and position it in front of the model. Adjust the focal length to avoid warping your model, as this shot is going to be close up. Next, we need to add your designs into the Photoshop file. I have already done this and added a white background, which will act as the colour of the shirt. You can see here the UV map I've used to place the logos in the correct position. I have also created an alpha map so we can use different textures for the labels and the shirt. Open up the live viewer so we can take a look at how the scene is looking so far. Add in an HDRI. You can download these for free at HDRI Haven. I'll leave a link in the description. Adjust the values of the HDRI until you are happy with how the scene is looking. Go into the settings and change your render engine from standard to octane. Adjust the pixel ratio to whichever value you require. Next up, we will add the textures and the logos we placed in the Photoshop file. In my original animation, I used a normal map from Grayscale Gorilla, but in this tutorial I will use a free one which is linked down in the description. UV transform the textures so that they are the appropriate sizing for the model that we are using.
adjust the roughness to reduce the reflection of the cloth. Copy and paste the material and add your Photoshop file into the diffuse. Create a mixed material and add in both of your materials. This is to allow separate sizing of textures between labels and the shirt. In the UV map, I made the labels bigger so that we could see them in a high resolution in the final render. Add the alpha texture to tell Cinema 4D which parts are the labels and which parts are the shirt. It's clear that the texture is too big on the shirt, so we can go back in and reduce that. The same is for the logos, but this time we will increase it. At this point it was clear that the scene didn't have enough light. This was simply because the area light was facing the wrong way, so we just need to flip that 180 degrees. Next up we can add some depth of field to the camera. This is to help add another level of realism and bring focus to the details on the labels.
Open your Octane render settings. These are the ones I use, but you can probably decrease the samples by a fair amount and still achieve a great result, but with faster render times. At this point the whole scene looked a little too bright, so I dropped the power down to 5. Finally we created a texture for the background which will help our model stand out. If you'd like to learn how to add the wind effect, you can check out my last tutorial. Thank you for watching.